In this video, we will learn how to create a complete 2D game with Godot 4.1. We will learn how we can add 2D animations, enemies and their behavior, user interface and sounds. So without wasting time, let's get started. First of all, download the assets from the link in description. Create a new project and name it whatever you want. Edit it and then let it open. When project is created, go to your download folder and extract the assets files and then drag it to your Godot project. After importing your assets, go to project setting and then in window, set the width to 480 and height to 720. We did this because we want to play this game in portrait mode. After that, under the stretch, set the mode to canvas items and aspect to keep. So our interface will change according to the different screen sizes of different devices. In VSync, select VSync to disable if you are using a very low end hardware. First, we will create player scene, add area 2D as a root node of our player scene. With area 2D, we can detect objects that overlap or run into the player. Name the area 2D node as player. There will be a warning sign after the player node, but we will see it later. Before we add any children to the player node, click the icon to the right of log, its tooltip says make selected node children not selectable. Click it and after that add animated sprite 2D node as child node of player. With this animated sprite 2D node we will create player animations for our game. In inspector under animation click sprite frames and create new sprite frames. In bottom of editor, there will be a new animation window. From there, we will be creating two animations for our player. First will be up and second will be walk. Click load button on right side and add two frames for up animation. After that same for the walk, you can bring both frames together by holding shift key. Click on the animated sprite node and set the scale property to 0.5 and 0.5 both for X and Y. You can find it in the inspector under the node 2D heading. Create collision shape 2D as child of player. You can see the warning after the player node is gone. It's because there must be a collision shape for area 2D. So after that select the collision shape 2D and in the inspector click shape and select capsule shape 2D. Adjust the size of shape with player sprite by dragging the handles. After that save the player scene. Select the player node and attach a script to it. We will use standard GD script as our scripting language. In this script, under extends area 2D, create a new export variable, name, speed. Export variables in Godot are very useful and we can change their values from the inspector. And it will save our time if we require to change a value of any variable. For now, our player speed will be 400. Under the speed variable, create a new variable name screen size. In ready function, write screen size is equal to get viewport rect dot size. So this variable now have the screen size that we are using in this project. We will use this variable to prevent our player from leaving the screen. Now this is the time to create input system for our uh, game. Go to project settings and open 
the input map tab type move up and click the add button and do the same for move right move left and move down You will see a plus button after each input action and you will have to press that button and press the relevant key if it is move up press the up arrow key on keyboard if it is move down press down arrow key on the keyboard and left right respectively we will use this action inputs to move our player up down and right left In process function create a variable for velocity and keep its vector to values to 0. So both x and y values will be 0. After that we will use if statement to check what action is pressed and we will increase or decrease the value of x and y axis using the velocity variable. If it is right action pressed we will increase the x value and if it is left we will decrease the x value same for the y values If down action is pressed we will increase y value and if up is pressed we will decrease the y value We are adding a horizontal and a vertical movement. The player would move faster diagonally if it just move horizontally. We can prevent that if we normalize the velocity, which means we set its length to one. To do that, we have to do one thing: velocity is equal to velocity dot normalize into the desired speed that we want. So now player will not move fast diagonally. After that, we will play our movement animations. else we will stop our movement animations now we will change our position with respect to time since previous frame to do that we will multiply velocity variable with delta and store it in position variable in very simple words delta is the length of time since the previous frame and if we multiply it with velocity we will get a smooth movement every frame and we will see our player movement otherwise player will just move very fast and we will not able to see it you can try it by yourself and you will see what will happen after that we will use clamp function to prevent our player from leaving the screen Save the script and hit play button. You will see when we press input action buttons, our player is moving. Now it's time to choose the appropriate animations for each input and direction. If velocity dot x is changing, it means it is not zero. Then we will play walk animation, and there will be no more vertical flip. And if x value is decreasing and less than zero, it means player is moving left. then we will flip place player sprite horizontally the
Same for the y. If there is change in y value of player velocity, then we will play up animation, and there will be no horizontal flip for the player sprite. And if velocity dot y is greater than zero, it means that player is moving up, and we will flip the player sprite vertically. Save the script and hit play button. You will see our player is moving as we want it. So that's it for now. I will be uploading the next part of this tutorial where we will be creating our enemy. If you are new on this channel, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. See you soon in the next video.